Good day, Father Matt Williams here on this Tuesday of the third week of Lent. Today in the Mass, we're reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18. And chapter 18, um, and one of the things that, that Matthew's trying to accomplish is, is, what does it look like in the early church? How are we supposed to live? What is leadership supposed to reflect or bear witness to? And one of the things that, that comes through very strongly is the aspect of mercy, of forgiveness. And in today's gospel, Jesus tells us this parable that really highlights how important mercy is in the sense that God has forgiven us so much. He has forgiven us an infinite debt that we owe to him by our sins. And if he forgives us of this infinite debt, how much more ought we to forgive each other of so much smaller a debt? As the, the saying goes, that Jesus Christ paid a debt that he did not owe because we owed a debt that we could not pay. That is, we cannot reconcile ourselves to God, but God, through Jesus, reconciles us to himself. So Jesus tells a story about, about this king who has a servant who owes him a lot of money. He's, the king is calling in his debts, and, and this servant owes him a huge amount. The scripture says a huge amount, and that, that's the translation that we are in the Mass. If you read in the RSV version of the Bible, you would find out that, that this servant owed the king 10,000 talents. And if you do the, the configuration, 10,000 talents equals, one talent equals 6,000 denarii. So if you take 10,000 talents and you figure that all out, um, basically he owed the king 200,000 years worth of wages. Okay? So it would have taken him a laborer 200,000 days to pay back what he owed the king. And so he begs, he says, there's no way I can pay, ever pay that back. Please forgive me. And the king has mercy on him. And then this man goes off and then he finds people, or at least a servant, that owed him money, who owed him, the scripture says, a much smaller amount. And that much smaller amount, basically, 100 days worth of wages. So we have 200,000 years worth of wages versus 100 days worth of wages. And this man, who had just been forgiven 200,000 years worth of wages, turns around and forgives this servant of his, or his comrade or friend, holds him accountable for 100 days worth of wages and, and really beats it out of him. Well, the king gets word of this and the king is furious because he had just forgiven this man a huge amount and this man in turn is holding up a, a smaller, a much smaller amount with, with, with great um, pains over his servant or one of his friends. So the king gets word of this and calls him in on it and punishes him severely. Jesus tells us this story to help us to remember or to, to like embed in our DNA and our memory how much God has forgiven us, how much God loves us, and what great pains Jesus went through to reconcile us to his Father. This is all in response to Peter's question, Lord, how much should I forgive my, my neighbor? Seven times? And Peter thinks he's doing a good job. And Jesus says, no, not seven times, 70 times seven times. In other words, there's no limit to the mercy we should hold for each other. So the Lord is teaching us that in the, in the life of the church, among the leaders, and be honest, among you and I, that forgiveness must be a significant part of who we are. Because you know what? We're always finding hurts. We're always, whether we're hurting others or people hurting us, like we always find ourselves in some type of conflict or being hurt. And the Lord is saying that we have to first go to the one who has forgiven us much and draw from him the graces and the strength that we need to then forgive others. When you've been hurt really bad, it's hard to hurt, help. It's hard, hard to forgive other people. When you've been hurt really bad, it's really hard to forgive others. Sometimes you could say it's even impossible. That's why we have to go to the one who is love and mercy itself. And we have to bring our pain to the Lord and say, Lord, I am struggling to forgive this person. They've hurt me, hurt me so much. And we go and bring it to Jesus. And we ask Jesus for the grace of his, of his divine mercy to help us to let go. Because we hold people prison in our hearts when we don't forgive them. And we say, Lord, we want to ask you for the grace today to let go of this person out of the prison of my heart. And to give them to you, Jesus. And to wish them well, to bless them, Lord. That you would bless them, Lord. That you, Lord, through your grace would forgive them. And help me to forgive them, Lord. Because remember what Jesus said on the cross. Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. 
So we have to go to the cross because there's an infinite treasury of riches there. We go to the cross and we draw from Jesus the graces we need to begin to pray about and give over this memory, this person to our Lord Jesus. And once we begin to bring this person to Jesus, we can begin to ask Jesus for the grace to let them go, let them go from the prison of our hearts and to begin to forgive them. Now remember, to forgive someone or to love someone doesn't mean you have to have warm fuzzies. It doesn't mean you have to be best friends. What it means is, is I'm not holding this sin against them. I'm not holding this debt against them, but I'm releasing them to the Lord and I'm going to let the Lord take care of them. To love them basically means to say, Lord, I want them to have what you want and not what I think that they should get. To love them means to want them to have Jesus, the inspire and perfecter of our faith. So on this day where the church is called on this third week of Advent, Lent, rather, listen to me, it's a little early in the morning. On this third week of Lent, this Tuesday, you and I are called to seek Jesus' grace to forgive, remembering how much he has forgiven us and continues, we're honest, how much he continues to forgive us on a daily basis. So it's only from Jesus that we can begin to address those pains and to forgive others as they have hurt us. As we pray in the Lord's Prayer, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. May God bless you. Please pray for me as I pray for you. Follow me on Twitter, Father Matt for Boston. Have a wonderful day. Until the next time, God bless.